Almost all bacteria have a cell wall made up of peptidoglycan that protects the bacteria against harmful chemicals. The cytoplasm has few ribosomes and a membrane-less incipient nucleus containing the genetic material. The membrane lipids in bacteria are composed of fatty acids bound to glycerol by ester bonds. Bacteria also have a unique RNA called transfer messenger RNA. TMR, the genetic material in bacteria, is DNA which is transferred to their offsprings via asexual reproduction. Reproduction takes place through binary fission, budding, and fragmentation, but different methods like transformation, transduction, and conjugation are available for the transfer of genetic materials. Basis for comparison Archaebacteria. Definition Archaea is a group of primitive prokaryotes that, based on their distinct characteristics, form a separate domain from bacteria as eukaryotes. Bacteria are single celled primitive organisms that form a domain of organisms diverse in shape, size, structure, and even habitats. Habitat most archaea are extremophiles and are found in extreme environments like the deep sea, mountains, hot springs, salt brine, etc. Bacteria reside in different habitats ranging from soil, water to inside living, and non-living organisms. Cell wall the archaeal cell wall is made up of pseudopeptidoglycan and like d aminosids and N-acetylmuramic acid. The bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan consisting of N-acetylmuramic acid and D-amino acid. Membrane lipid The fatty acids and membrane lipids of archaea are bound to glycerol by ether bonds. The fatty acids and membrane lipids of bacteria are bound to glycerol by ester bonds. Glucose oxidation Archaea do not use glycolysis or Krebs cycle for glucose oxidation but follow metabolic pathways similar to glycolysis and Krebs cycle are important metabolic pathways in bacteria for glucose oxidation. Photosynthesis Archaea do not perform oxygen generating photosynthesis but are photographs. They use sunlight as a source of energy. Many bacteria containing photosynthetic pigments can perform photosynthesis to prepare their own food. Types of archaea are divided into different groups like methanogens, thermophiles, and halophiles on the basis of their characteristics. Bacteria are divided as gram-negative and gram-positive based on their response to gram staining. Flagella archaeal flagella, also termed archaea, are synthesized by adding subunits at the base. Bacterial flagella are hollow and are assembled by adding subunits moving from the central pore towards the tip of the flagella. Reproduction archaea reproduce by fission budding, and fragmentation. Sporulation doesn't occur in archaea. Some bacteria are capable of forming spores that help them survive extreme conditions for a particular period of time. tRNA thymine is absent in the tRNA of thymine is present in the tRNA of bacteria. tmRNA tmRNA transfer messenger RNA is found in our tmRNA is found in bacteria. Chromosomes and trons are present in the chromosomes of archaea. Introns are absent in the chromosomes of bacteria. RNA polymerase, RNA polymerase in archaea is complex with more than eight polypeptides. They might even have multiple RNA polymerases. Bacterial RNA polymerase is simple, with four polypeptides. Pathogenicity archaea are non pathogenic. Bacteria might be pathogenic or non pathogenic. Examples Thermosphere aggregans, Staphylothermus marinus, Sulfalobus tacodii, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Bacillus subtilis, Staphylococcus aureus. Salmonella examples of archaea. Sophilobus. Sophilobus is a genus of organisms that belong in the domain archaea and are both acidophilic and thermophilic in nature. They grow at a pH of 2-3 in a temperature of about 8 degrees C. These are mostly found in volcanic springs. The proteins found in Sophilobus are particularly important in biotechnology as they are thermostable and also can function at low pH. These microorganisms are also special because they utilize sulfur as the final electron acceptor during cellular respiration. These are thus dependent on sulfur for the autotrophic or heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Sophilobus was also used as a model for the study of DNA replication. Multiple sites of origin of replication were identified during studies on these organisms. Some species belonging to this genus are Sulfalobus tacodii and Sulfalobus metallic methanogens. Methanogens are prokaryotes belonging to the domain archaea which are named so because they produce methane as a byproduct during metabolic activities. These are found mostly in wetlands and inside the gastrointestinal tracts of various ruminants and even human beings. Some methanogens are extremophiles and are found in hot springs and deep sea vents. 
There are more than 50 species of methanogens known so far, many of which produce methane through different metabolic pathways. Some methanogens reduce carbon dioxide in the presence of hydrogen to produce methane. However, others produce methanol via anaerobic respiration. Methanogens are mostly used in the treatment of wastewater via biocomposition, which is a cost-effective and faster wastewater treatment process. Some common species of methanogens are Methanosarcina bacteri, Methanosarcina cetivorans, and Methanococcus meripolutes. Examples of bacteria Escherichia coli E. coli E. coli is a model microorganism used for various reasons. These organisms are found in multiple environments, and many are found in the lower intestine of human beings and other warm-blooded animals. Most varieties of E. coli are harmless, but few might cause mild to severe diarrhea. Some microbes even produce vitamin K and vitamin B12. E. coli is a gram-negative and facultative anaerobe that flourishes at room t It is rod-shaped and has short life cycles, which makes it ideal for research studies. E. coli are non-sporing and have peritritious flagella, lactobacilli. Lactobacillus is a group of rod-shaped, gram-positive, non-spore-forming microorganisms belonging to the family. The term lactobacilli is given to indicate their ability to produce lactose as a byproduct of glucose metabolism. These organisms are mostly found in milk and milk products. Many varieties of lactobacillus are used commercially to produce fermented products of milk and different vegetables. Some commonly used species of this genus are Lactobacillus brevis, Lactobacillus casei, and Lactobacillus plantarum. These organisms are even found within the body of living beings like in the intestine and vagina of 